Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be today uh, looking at this broadcast. I'm Emil Marzullo. I am the moderator at the Highland Congregational Church in Highland, California. And today we have both a day of celebration and a day of a bit of sadness as we bid our couple uh, adieu into a hopefully a fun and long-term retirement. Uh, Pastor Louis Leon and his lovely wife, Terry, are now officially leaving us. This is their last week. And we thought for our family and friends of the congregation that we would have what amounted to a fireside chat. Now, we would have liked to have had a very different outcome here. We, we essentially thought about doing a service with a full meal and all of the bells and whistles you would expect in a retirement ceremony. But living in within, we thought it best that we do social distancing and essentially try to bring this message to you via high tech, uh, internet and videotape. Now, our minister has been with us for 10 years, and, uh, but he has actually been in the ministry for 45 years. And uh, we would like to basically just ask a few questions, have a little bit of a chat. Uh, Pastor Lewis, could you tell us a little bit about your, your background history in the ministry? Well, I'd be glad to. I think I've shared from time to time with uh, various persons of the congregation that, as Emil said, uh, 45 years ago, I commenced my first ministry uh, as pastor in uh, a little small village in northern New Mexico. Terry and I were really blessed to be there together, and uh, we enjoyed uh, the, the congregation, the time, and then we moved on to the suburbs of uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, it uh, was a lovely experience where we uh, served in uh, actually starting a new church, but unfortunately, as we began that, uh, a recession hit, and uh, very significant. Uh, some of you may remember back around 1980, and uh, after a few years, uh, I decided that I was going to uh, move on. And eventually that church, uh, though it, it was, had some strength to it, it just didn't see a great future because there was not going to be the homes that they had thought were going to be there at the, at that, by that time. I went to another church and served on staff uh, at a uh, Presbyterian church, also in Scottsdale, and was blessed to serve 17 years in that congregation. Uh, doing various parts. So there were five of us pastors on staff together. It was a very uh, dynamic time and we just had some great years together. Then I went to serve as pastor of uh, First Presbyterian Church in Oceanside, Oceanside, California. And then following that came here to serve as pastor at Highland Congregational Church. And we have been truly blessed. And uh, we, again, as I've said before, it's hard to put in words all that what we've experienced together. But again, it's your faces that bring to, to mind the, the joy, the sense of celebration. Even though as pastor, I know I've gone and been with many of you through some of the most sorrowful years, sorrowful times, uh, losing loved ones and all kinds of things. But uh, that's kind of what we uh, have experienced. And Terry, uh, I don't know if you want to say anything in regard to your time here at Highland Congregational Church. Uh, well, my time here has been absolutely incredible, and I've enjoyed every minute being here. It's like every Sunday when we would like drive up from, so I'm going to try to clip this on. We drive up from Carlsbad. It was always with anticipation, excitement, and Somebody was saying, oh, tell us like the favorite times. And yes, like the Christmas galas were always so spectacular. The, the pancake breakfasts were amazing just to see all the people in, you know, our church come together as a, a unit and working together. Those are some of my favorite, favorite times. But the people here are spectacular, working together, caring for each other loving each other, being a real family, an extended family. I have never seen anything like it. So you'll be truly missed just be, not being able to see us, see you guys for every Sunday and just being part of our lives. And um, it's a scary time for us to just feel, you know, like 
we're not going to be with you, and it's very sad, very sad. I'm just feeling a lot of sadness, and but well, you guys. it's going to be somewhat of a scary time for us too, Terry. I can become imagine. become a, a true member of our family, and uh, we, we already miss you. Oh, thank so, you. So, I mean, this year, is, it's been hard. It really has. Yeah. But uh, you're not that far. Yeah. <laughs> well, 85 miles, that's, that's, it's not around the corner. Yeah. You know, in fact, that brings a question I have. When you came from Arizona and went to Carlsbad and served in a Presbyterian church there, what compelled you, I guess, you know, when, when you serve the Lord and you have to make decisions of where you want to do that service, what was the calling that said to you, I want to drive 85 miles each way three or four times a week to go to this community at Highland Congregational Church? Okay, can I start? Yes. Let me yes. start first. Okay. okay. I worked at the, at the time when we were thinking about a change. I work at, worked at Carlsbad High School, and I was there for many years, and um, I said, if you want to do this, we're staying here. I'm not leaving my job. So I gave Lewis that ultimatum. I said, I can't leave my job and the kids that I'm involved with and that kind of thing. So that was part of, a, part of the decision was we didn't leave our home in Carlsbad. Well, and uh, the thing was that uh, I, beginning to search, uh, I as I had a contact a, a friend uh, who is a, uh, a pastor in the United Church of Christ and he said you know have you ever thought about serving in another denomination and I said you know I have some friends who served in the UCC church and I would be open to that and he just said well you know I happen to know there's a church why don't you talk to the conference minister and so it was an immediate conversation that kind of led an interest and you know, of course, Highland Church having to make a decision, it wasn't as automatic that I would be coming here, but it was interesting, and uh, it was meeting the search committee that really, truly, uh, I think Terry and I, after that initial contact, said, you know, I, I, as I told her with my very first church, I feel call, I really feel called here. I feel a sense of knowing what this church had gone through, what was being had been, this church had experienced, and um, felt like I could be someone who could serve this church in a way, in a particular time and moment that might be truly of use of my gifts as a pastor. Well, we're certainly glad that you did feel that way. Now, Wendy and I have been members for, well, Wendy was a member before I was, so over 40 years. 1976. 1976. And this was home for a long time for us. Yeah. And it was a time where we thought maybe we would look at some other churches. Uh, move around a little bit and test the waters. And for whatever reason, uh, it's always comforting to come back home. And we had a new minister which who we, we had not met. And some of our friends said, you, you might come back and, and uh, come to a service with Pastor Lewis. And we immediately felt, felt a connection. It was, it was it was like homecoming. It was. It was. It was refreshing and it, it fit. It was meant to be. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was meant to be. It, Emily had come back from from Italy, and uh, she wanted back in, in the, you know, in the, the church, and, and, and so, the choir and, and mom, this was mom's home, this, this right. is her family, and so yeah. I wanted to maintain that relationship, and so we were so glad, yeah. so glad. So it is, it is really an interesting time, as I said, that we live in, we wish we had another way of doing this. We wish there was a more personal way uh, to say thank you. We, we had a small reception today of some of the members of the church uh, where we wished Lewis and Terry well. We thank you for your gifts. Uh, we pass those on and I'll let them talk a little bit about it, but we, we feel like there's not enough we could do and there's not enough thank yous that we could express uh, for having them make us feel at home all this time. Now we are in a search uh, pattern right now for a new pastor, an interim pastor, as well as a long-term uh, pastoral search, which will happen over the next few months. And it's going to be difficult because we will always make a comparison about this one, this one, or this one, and how do they compare to 
to this one. And um, it'll be a challenge, and it'll be something that we will work hard at to make sure that we select someone that the entire congregation feels a connection with. And um, Lewis, did you want to say anything about that? Uh, let oh, me, oh, you let me say something sure. about the first gift that we were given this morning. And that was the most beautiful photo album. And really it did a beautiful job of the pictures through the last 10 years. It was pictures and at the end, all the cards that you have sent, appreciate so much. But anyway, so we were presented with the most beautiful photo album. I believe Carolyn and Anne did it, and maybe, and Claudia, uh, Claudia and all, some of the other, all of your pictures that you sent in for that. Thank you so much. But we will cherish that album forever. It was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And we want to thank, uh, we received the check that, uh, was a sum total of your gifts, very generous, and we thank you for that. Uh, very heartfelt, I know, uh, for us to feel that connection. And uh, as you know, we're in extraordinary times, and just the fact that the culmination, not only of my 10 years here as pastor, but also of my 45 years as pastor uh, in the pastoral ministry, I don't think I would have ever dreamed that uh, there would be a pandemic that have had such a significant impact on persons being able to gather together, to be the church the way we have celebrated together. And I think we are all yearning for those days to come back. And unfortunately, I, I had announced my retirement and feel that this was the time. But again, there's just uh, no way that any of us could have foreseen what was uh, in front of us with this. And I'm hopeful that my time with you on a video each Sunday has been meaningful. I, I know it was not easy for me, and I'm sure it's not easy for you. But again, the, the, we, we've, what we've always taken for granted of gathering together, I think every one of us will think twice when this pandemic has subsided that we would be thinking twice when we say, ah, maybe I'll go to church today. You know, because now we, we know what it feels like to not be able to gather, to enjoy what this congregation celebrated so well, the peace that's passed to one another, the hugs, the embraces, that has been very meaningful because what I think I experienced in this congregation is a tremendous sense of love and compassion and affection for each other that is so important. And I, I'm just hopeful that you all continue to celebrate that. And especially with the lay leadership, which is an important part of the church. Emil has been uh, the moderator. Wendy was moderator herself for a few years, which we appreciated your leadership among others that in our time, I think Liz Waskell served, a Carson store served. I believe that in, in my time, and what a, a significant impact that maybe sometimes our congregation isn't always aware that it's not just the pastor, it's the leadership and it's our tradition. Congregational means that you are at the very foundation of what it means to be the church. And so the way that you've been able to uh, function with great leadership and the support that you've given to this congregation uh, has been very meaningful, and I've been very appreciative, and it's been a blessing for me to serve uh, in this way. Thank you for those words. Um, the future, where are you headed for after here? I know retirement is a, it's not the end of the, it's, it's not the end of life, it's the beginning of a new life. Where, where do you see yourselves over the next few years? Well, uh, Terry and I uh, you know, have been blessed to do lots of traveling in our years. And we always said we were gonna do it because, instead of waiting for retirement because you just never knew, particularly with health issues or whatever. But again, this pandemic has uh, had a significant impact. Uh, our youngest, our daughter, just moved to England. We thought that this fall we would be going to, to stay with her maybe even a month or two, uh, just to kind of have that opportunity to, to be in that, uh, that setting. But right now it doesn't look like we may be traveling there for maybe even a year because of the risks that uh, we just are very conscious of not putting ourselves at risk, nor anyone in our congregation. And I know some have been uh, yearning for us to get together, but it's, it's not as easy as I think sometimes uh, 
you would, ima you would think or, or would imagine. Some churches have taken greater risks than I think we've been willing to take. Um, and uh, I think I still want to err on the side of caution. Yeah. Well, we wish you the best in the future, the best in retirement. We know there will be a day when mm -hmm. you will be able to go to Europe and all mm -hmm. the places you'd like to go. Um, we know that there's gonna be a day that we can invite you back. Yes. Yes, yeah. and we will have a proper celebration That's at that right. time. Okay. Uh, that we, we can't do now. And I do appreciate the fact that you recognize we are a huggy, kissy sort of a congregation that getting together in that way would not be a prudent move during these unusual times. Right. It's very hard for people to get together and not want to embrace, right. you know, right. especially how long people have been apart from each other. And so that's part of the risk. And uh, I think uh, we have been wise in our, in our direction. Well, again, on behalf of the entire congregation, I want to thank you for your service. Thank you for your wisdom, your counsel uh, that you gave to many of us, and your spiritual guidance uh, for those who uh, sought it. And uh, we're just gonna miss you as individuals, as people, yes. uh, friends, family, Absolutely. and uh, we wish you all the best yeah. uh, for your future. And well, I hope you'll come back. Well, thank you. But I, I want to, if I can, I'd like to say the last word, ahead, have the last say, word. Say the last yeah, you know, because you, you, because you give word. a preacher a microphone and, <laughs> and you know, there's trouble. And, but before I do that, Terry, do you want to say anything? No, go ahead. Okay. Well, I think that because uh, I'm gonna envision that uh, you are watching this on the Lord's day, that we're mindful that uh, worship can be when people gather together. When Jesus said, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am also. And so this, in a sense, is a gathering that can be what worship can be, where people in the early church sometimes got together and talked about their love of God and their love of Christ. And, and I'm hopeful that you continue to do that with, again, family and friends. And in a sense, we've just shared a few thoughts with, with each other. Uh, and so remember, th is, this is the passage for the day, when two or more are gathered in my name, there I would be also, our Lord Jesus has said. So gather cautiously, even if it's on the phone, being safe, and for us to know that uh, the Lord will continue to bless this congregation because this church is vital for this location in this community, and therefore it is dependent upon you as the persons of Highland Congregational Church to be the church and to uh, offer yourselves as you have done before time and again. And again, I will say as pastor and leaving, thank you for the tremendous financial support you have continued to give through this pandemic that has allowed this church in, in ways that some other churches have not been so fortunate, that we do have a future here. This church has a, 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 can look into the next year or even the year after if, if things don't turn out. But because of your commitment, there is a way that we have reached into the community still with the preschool and, day, uh, and daycare, with our reach into the people that are hungry in this community. And I just can't thank you enough. You've heard me say it time and again. But uh, I'm going to, if I can, may I close with a prayer? Yes. Okay, L let's pray together. Oh, blessed and merciful God, we are so blessed. And we take for granted at times the relationships that we enjoy. We know that uh, from our, in our lifetime, from now on, when we move forward to gather together, we will remember the days when we were apart, that we felt so isolated and alone. And Lord, I pray for those today that are feeling the sorrow and the pain of that isolation. If any are feeling that, may you touch them and, and reach and extend to them the peace that you have granted through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray now with thankful hearts for what we have in health and wholeness. And we pray for those, some that are still ill in our congregation, but we know it is your healing hand that is there for them. And I think as well, Lord, of those who have gone on before us that are in your kingdom now, in a kingdom that is of your beloved son. And we pray, thanking you for their lives, of their commitment to this church and remembering how they are still dear in all of our hearts and our memories. 
And Lord, we pray that you would continue to bless and strengthen all that we do, all that we envision as we do and seek to serve in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is in his name we pray always. Amen. Amen. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and grant you his peace, both now and in the life everlasting. Amen. 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 Well, thank you, Terry and Pastor Lewis. We're now going to end our little session here. We could probably talk for hours, but we do thank you for joining with us. We invite you uh, on each Sunday uh, in the future, and you can actually see reruns uh, <laughs> if, if you'd like to yeah. uh, of Pastor Lewis's uh, messages uh, on each Sunday. And uh, let me mention that uh, starting uh, the f next, the following week, that rather than going to the search in YouTube for Pastor Lewis Leon, you will now be going to Highland Congregational Church. Now, we happen to be one of two Highland Congregational Churches in the country, but I believe that the other church is no longer posting, and so look for them. In fact, I've posted my last Sunday's sermon that is still with Pastor Lewis Land, but it's now on Highland Congregational Church, and so then in successive weeks, and so that any pastor who comes, you won't be looking for their name, but rather our church, and so that's what thank, you'll... Thank you for that. So you. next Sunday, go on to YouTube and seek out Highland Congregational Church. Thanks. Well, we thank you for watching. Uh, we invite you back uh, to see our video broadcast. And we hope that in the near future, we'll be able to get back in a personal uh, way. Uh, God bless all of you, Go our ahead. members, our friends, and, uh, and even our visitors. Uh, we welcome you. Come back and see us. Thank you. Thank you.